Hello everyone, this is David Arrojo, and in this video we're going to be discussing how to import and export files into Clip Studio Paint on the iPad Pro, but also how to exchange the files between the desktop version and the iPad Pro version. We're not only going to be looking at this for files, but also for 3D files, uh, 3D objects, and um, also fonts, and uh, stuff like that. So uh, I'd say let's dive right in and let's see how it's done. Okay, so first things first, we're going to open up Clip Studio Paint and uh, we're going to start with that. So, brand new file, that's what I'm going to do. So, new, okay. In terms of the settings, I've got it for an A4 size and my borders are specific uh, to a template that I like to set up. So, don't worry about that too much. We're just going to click OK to open it. And uh, what I want to show you is how to import, for example, an image something like that, something very simple. Okay, so you go to file and then you go to import and then image. Now you end up with this, right? This whole open and, you know, all supported formats, but you see nothing here. Okay, so that already is not gonna work. This is not the way that you normally would import. Now, how I import things, I just go to my Dropbox, for example, and what I want to import is this, an A4 with guidelines for 350 DPI. Okay, so I go to my uh, export tab here, and then I am going to say uh, open in, choose an app, and here you can go to Clip Studio Paint, you can select that, and it's going to take you here, and now it has imported that as a separate file here, okay? So that's not really what I want to do, so I'm just going to close this off. Um, do not save and normally now when I go into my import and I go to my image this has saved it now okay and this I can now import into the file straight away now this is for me basically just a guideline uh, that I use for my A4 paper I use it so that um, when I create my uh, borders and my uh, panels that I use these little squares as guidelines as to divide it for here or here or and you know the gutter space is always uh, the right amount so it's just a guideline I don't have to follow it per se but it's just useful so that's one way of um, you know, like importing some type of image now once I have that and I want to start drawing over it or something or say I do want to create uh, some type of border um, then easily I can just say okay that's the one I want to use and you know draw a rectangle say I want to put it up to here for example there you go and I've got my uh, border and as usual you know all the stuff that you need it's right there okay so that's that uh, now let's say okay you have clip studio paint on your uh, desktop as well okay so the very first thing you want to do then is save your file okay so just save it um, you know right now it's called comic it doesn't matter now once it has saved you can close it you can go to this part here okay so I'll just go really quickly back this icon right here this icon is basically where you share uh, things now there's this new thing on the update 1.7.4 where you get to share things like this it's the, the new interface for sharing so these are the files that you have on this device and on the cloud at this point in time, I only have a 3D example, which I'm going to show in a second because it's part of this video. Now, if I want to say I'd done a whole lot more on this uh, work and I wanted to share this uh, to continue working on my desktop, then all I have to do is just click that one icon that I have here and just press OK. It's basically saying that it's going to synchronize. And now when you click on this right here, it's telling you that it's uploading the comic okay so that takes a little bit of time but uh, it gets the job done nonetheless okay so and the upload has finished so now you will be able to see that upload comic and not finished successfully uh, loaded so uploaded I mean now we can go to manage works and now in the cloud if you wait a bit you will see it right here comic okay and you've got your 3d example which we'll get to that in a second so you're on your device you've got these two which is the file that I just made and one that I'll show you in a second. And the cloud, you've got these two now as well. Now what I'm going to do, I'm quickly going to move uh, towards my desktop and I'll show you uh, how I open it up right there. Okay, so now I'm back in the Clip Studio Paint uh, version on the desktop. I just open up the same file, 
Okay, that will open up your Clip Studio, basically, which is this. Okay, and here, when you go to Manage Works, okay, you will see on this device, this is what I've got in the cloud, it's going to show you now the other one that I just made on the iPad Pro, okay? And this one, if you want to bring it into your desktop, you just click on this icon right here, the blue one. Now that I've clicked on it, when you look at it, it's uh, downloading the comic. The um, There we go, that's done. Now we can go back to this device. And now all you have to do here, you select it and open in Paint. It will open up. And this is what we had started on, um, you know, on the iPad Pro. So that's how you share files between the iPad Pro and your desktop version. And now obviously I can continue working on it here. It doesn't matter, say I were to very quickly just add some text to it or testing. Okay, and there you go. We got that and we can just continue working on it like this. Same procedure, all I have to do is save the file, okay? So here's the file right now. You can see it right here. Now, what we can do is uh, upload it. So it's already set to synchronize. So normally, if I were to click on this button right now, which means sync now, okay? Um, okay, and you have to close the file, obviously. Otherwise, it won't sync. So synchronize now. What it will do, it will send the file back to the cloud, okay? Which is what you're gonna be able to see in a second here. Uh, and there you go, testing is there. Now, let's go very quickly back to the iPad Pro so that you see what exactly happened right there. So back on the iPad Pro, what I wanna show you really quickly uh, is that if we were to, so remember on the device, we have this file, which is just like this on the cloud. Now we're going to refresh it really quickly. And what we're gonna see in a second is that whatever we did on the desktop will update here. You see now it says the word testing. All you have to do is click on this icon right here. Do you want to overwrite device data with the cloud data? You say, okay. And then again, you go here, as you can see, it's doing its download. Once it's finished and you go back to your works and you'll go to um, this device, you will basically see that this has updated to the latest version. And there you go, here you have it now. So it has, the updated word with testing on it that we did in the desktop. We just open it back up in paint and there we go. This is exactly where we left off and we can continue here uh, just to get our job done. Okay, and that's, that's the most important thing really. Um, that's how you import and export at least for file projects and stuff like that. Now I'm gonna show you another file now. One that I already uploaded here just to save some time. So it's this one right here. This one was started on the desktop. Okay, now reason being is because I had already added 3D items and elements to it. Uh, okay, this was quite important for me, so I'm just gonna close up some of these and I'm gonna go into the first one. So there, in, in with 3D, you have to look at it this way. There isn't an easy way of importing 3D into um, Clip Studio Paint on the iPad Pro. I haven't found any. You can try to do it like this because this is how you would do it on a uh, computer okay so you just go back and in my case i have a 3d library for stuff like this okay and then normally what i would do is say okay i want to add let's say uh, uh, this same bike okay that's this bike.obj select it and on the computer this is what you would normally do you would drag and drop it into the uh, file or into the frame and it would pop up but here unfortunately that's not the case yet so I'm sorry to disappoint in that sense, you can't do it on the iPad Pro yet. Or at least I haven't found a way. There are ways of getting 3D objects into it, but, so if I go to import and I go to 3D data, you would also think like, okay, I have something here to work with, but the 3D that you do get from your assets, which are here, you go to assets, okay, here you can download a whole bunch of 3D stuff. I'll just go to what I downloaded earlier on, okay, which is this uh, bucket. Okay, to like a cleaning uh, bucket. Now, I'm quickly going to show you where that ends up. Once you download that, it doesn't end up in your uh, 3D items. No, it goes into your, if you recognize this is your 3D library, right? And 3D, there is this folder at the bottom, okay? Let's say you have your 3D open and all that stuff. You just have to scroll all the way to the bottom where it says download. 
that's where you'll find these. These are things that uh, I've downloaded. And then if you want to import it, then it does work. Then the drag and drop thing does work. And you know, now it's in perspe perspective and you can move things around uh, as you wish, uh, as you would do with any other uh, 3D item and so forth. So that is important to know in terms of 3D, in terms of uh, what you can do here. If you really want to import 3D from the desktop, I would strongly recommend you do things in the desktop. You can do all the 3D things that you want to do here uh, in Clip Studio Paint. So for example, if you import an FBX file, uh, which allows you to normally transport also your skeleton rig, you will see that this one isn't perfectly rigged up, but you will be able to move parts of the 3D. This part doesn't move, unfortunately, because it's just not the way it was set up. Something I found online, so um, sorry if it's not 100% accurate. But for drawing, you know, I mean, if you have to use it like this, um, for example, to be used later on, then I set it to uh, this version, like this, this uh, form of rendering, for example. I really like that because it gives this nice 3D finish to it. So how did I do that? I just went, uh, so I on the layer itself, yeah, so you go on the layer right there, and then here you have the option to select this one. Okay, this is basically what limits your, I'll try to do it from here, you select that, it limits your uh, thingy. So if you do want to see it and you don't see it straight away, okay, because it can happen, if you go to your display setting for editing, you have to put that to normal. If you have it on fast, you will never see this uh, when you make the change, okay? So if you go here, it's you will only see it once you get out of the layer. Okay, so I select another layer and then it will show it. You won't be able to do any of that stuff. Uh, so that's just the way it works in this sense. Okay, and then last but not least, I would very much like to show you how to uh, import fonts and stuff. So on the desktop, it's very easy. The uh, program uses the fonts that are in the uh, font book. Um, so it's very easy. But here, you know, on the iPad Pro, it works a little bit different. So what I'm going to show you, I'm going to go into this. There's this app called any font. So you'll need that app. It's not free. It costs one ninety nine US dollars in the app store, uh, but it's very worth it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to um, my Dropbox. So this is my Dropbox in a particular folder. I want to grab any type of font that I like here. So I, for example, selected the bold. Uh, this is the italic and this is the regular of the anime uh, ace uh, font. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to go to um, export and I'm going to say open in, it's exporting and then you have to copy it to any font. Okay, so you'll have the bold, the italic, there's one more that I need now. I'm gonna go back to my Dropbox and I'm gonna get the regular, these are true type fonts by the way. Um, and then it doesn't have to be true type fonts, but it can be, uh, I like true type fonts but it could be any other type. Uh, I mean, any font does support it. So you copy it back into any font. You've got them right there. And then the way it works, you just select them, okay? And then it says tap icon to install. So you just tap it. It's literally going to install it. So this website is trying to open settings and blah, blah, blah. Just allow, and it's literally going to install. So here you see the whole thing about, you know, uh, what you need to do. You click on install. It's gonna install. I'm gonna have to put in my passcode. So just, there you go. And there we go. So it's going to say this is going to allow you to install. Da, da, da. It's not that. Just keep going. Install, install, install. And there you go. So this has been installed and done. Um, sure, yeah, why not? So there you go. So that will make sure that this one is, for example, installed. And how can I see that? Well, if I go now to my Clip Studio Paint, so it was the, I'm going on to the typing. Um, platform now and I'm quickly gonna try to type anything just uh, again I like to type the word test so testing there you go that will do and with this selected okay I'm just quickly going to make it much bigger so that we can all see it okay there we go so what we're gonna do I'm just quickly gonna close this and open it up again so that it can refresh so open up clip studio paint there you go. Let's go to file, um, open recent. We can just open one from recent. This is a 3D example. 
So it should normally open up in a second now. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, like I said, I'm going to select the text here. I'm going to select that, get this away from there. I'm gonna go to the settings. Okay, so this is the, the Helsinki font type at the moment, which is not in the library. And now I'm gonna look for the anime one that I downloaded, and here it is, ladies and gentlemen, right there, and I can change it. Now it's the different thing, so I can, I'll try to show you here if I were to change it to something else, for example. See, and now going back to the anime, there you go. So that's how you import uh, new fonts into the iPad Pro. It's not for free, unfortunately. You will need any font, uh, but at least that's that. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how to import and export in Clip Studio Paint. If you like this type of content, feel free to like it. There will be more of this type of content as well, so stay tuned, and the best way to do that is to subscribe. So thank you very much for stopping by, and have a lovely day, guys.